So today guys, we are in Hobbiton in New Zealand. I'm doing a 360 video so you can join us on this tour. It's pretty incredible. This is Shane. He's, uh, he's going to be showing us around. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. We're going to take a look in one of the Hobbit holes. I don't know who lives here. The crazy thing about this place is the detail, the attention to detail is incredible. Each hobbit hole has its own little like set up outside depending on what that hobbit did as a job. So the last one we went to was like a little pottery thing. There's like a butcher's and a fishmonger's and stuff like that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look inside. Right, are you coming in? <laughs> this could be a cool photo looking out. Looking out of this one? Yeah, like standing there, yeah. I'm gonna get a photo. Just my rocking chair. So Shane, who lives here? This one's an unassigned hobbit hole. Yeah. Sorry. You do. So it's available? Yeah, it's all yours. Cool. How much? <laughs> Imagine if you could buy Hobbit holes here. Oh my gosh. You wouldn't really fit, unfortunately. Oh. I'd, I would happily duck through the doors each time. Be worth it. Yeah, I'm looking this year to buy some land in the UK. And I want to do some really interesting things. I want to be able to build some tree houses. Yeah. And then potentially if we get an area with a clearing, I'd love to build some hobbit holes. Yeah. That'd be so good. That's pretty cool. I've seen some of those um, tree huts. That yeah. Make. It makes some incredible tree huts. Mm. Really cool. And Raya was saying if we did it, we'd have to like plant a lot of flowers because I think that's what makes this yeah. when you're walking through. It's just these yeah. flowers everywhere. Yeah. It's great. This is Bag End. This is where Frodo and Bilbo lived. We can't actually go in there right now because um, there's lots of tour groups going around. But um, this is the this is the Hobbit hole. This is the main one. It's got the best view as well, I think. Yeah. See if you can have a little peek inside. I prefer the Hobbit holes where the, there's just a round door. Like I think one of them's just like a, a normal kind of door, but. It's all about the round doors. So guys, this is the party field and the big famous tree by the lake. We're gonna go and see some more hobbit holes now. We've got Sam's house just here. Yeah? Second most famous hobbit hole. Home of Samwise Gamgee and his wife Rosie. Yeah. Sam is known as the modern hobbit, so you see he's got fresh running water, a nice pump to your right of his front door. Something to note, number one, two and three bag shot row, which is Sam's house, these are the only hobbit holes remaining on set that are full 100% scale. Oh yeah, I haven't told you guys, there's, how many scales are there? Uh, three. There's three, there's 90%, which is the majority of the big ones you've seen, 60%, which are the smaller ones, and it's one of the 100%. And tell my viewers why that is. Because uh, there are different sized creatures in Middle Earth, so we have to create those different sizes out here by forcing the perspective. So actors playing the hobbits are placed in front of the 100 percenters and the 90 percenters because I'm here, the hobbit hole's up there, everything's in the correct proportion, I can quite comfortably live there. But then someone such as Gandalf, he's meant to be bigger than the hobbits, so when he comes past, he walks past our 60 percenters, so Gandalf's up here, the hobbit hole's down there. Creates nice. the illusion he's a lot bigger. Yeah. We're now taking a little walk along the lakefront. These are some more 60 percent hobbit holes. This is your favourite? I like the colour of it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. These and the yellow ones are my favourite. It's so magical here, guys. And that's... Look at those wildflowers. Like, it's amazing. And there's like bees and butterflies everywhere. And that's the Green Dragon Inn over there. We're going to head over there for some lunch. Look at this cute little boat down here. Yeah. 
this is one of my favourite spots in Hobbiton. That's the fence that Bilbo jumped over when he said he's going on an adventure. And then this is the garden down here. I like this hobbit hole here as well. This is my favourite one. Yeah. Yeah, look at these flowers. It's awesome. Last year when I was here, I got a cool photo jumping over that fence. And if you go up a little bit up the hill, you can see Bag End like right up there. There's so many bees and butterflies. I know, I love it. So guys, we're in the Green Dragon Inn. This is the end of our Hobbiton tour. This is amazing. How good is this? Absolute magic. Look, open fire. We're just about to order some lunch. Best day ever.